Hi guys! Uh, as you see, I'm sitting in a herd of uh, horses, shaving horses. Reason being, I'm planning on a shaving horse video. Now, these are pretty regular shaving horses that you see a lot of videos about how to make all of these. This is kind of like continental European style with uh, a single arm with the dumb head on top of this arm. And this one's like a I think it's British style with two arms like this. And this changes height with a block of wood like this. And this one you can change height by taking out this pin and moving it up and down. Anyway, because everyone's locked up at home, it's not so easy to get these huge chunks of hardwood. So I figured we can make it out of some uh, two inch on four inch or um, five centimeters on 10 centimeter material, which is pretty standard. Um, you might even have all sorts of pieces lying around, left over from other projects or old bed frames, or I don't know. But hopefully you can get your hands on some similar dimension material. And we're gonna build a shaving horse. I'm working on the plans. I'm playing with the idea that maybe we can have um, a shaving horse that can be foldable or dismantleable, if there is such a word, um, and can also double as a saw horse. It can double as a small work table, maybe some other holding device on it. Um, I'm developing the idea at the moment and I'm working on it. Uh, I'm gonna go now and have a look in my wood pile and see what material I've got out of dimensioned lumber, which should be easy for you guys to get out of. So, uh, yeah, stick with me. It's, uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of one of those videos where I'm just gonna like figure it out as I go along and make a plan. And then once I've got the plan, then we'll do a more detailed video. But this is how I plan it, what I'm gonna do, you know, just hang out with me again. So glad you're all here, let's get into it. Under here I've got a, a deserted project that somebody started a couple of years ago. Life got in the way and he never finished it and he told me just use the material. So uh, thank you very much. And um, now it's springtime in the Middle East and it uh, means it's snake time. They're waking up now. So uh, before I pull off this, I'm gonna make a bit of noise and bash things about. And if there's any snakes, you'll be aware that I'm coming. And maybe he's more afraid of me than I am of him and hopefully he'll skedaddle. Some creatures in here leaving their droppings. Ah. So look at that. We've got some uh, five by ten. We've got some five by fourteen. We've got some stuff all glued up here, which I don't really need. Oh, this will be good as well. Like 5x14 five five as well. All right, good. And also this. They're already good. These are like 5 on 10s, um, 2x4s. Great. Okay, so I'm going to take a few pieces into the workshop and start playing around with this idea. Take a few measurements from my existing shaving horses and uh, see what I'm gonna do. I'm just playing around with a few little sticks here, like if these are the legs, perhaps they can fold up out the way like this. I find that like playing with some, this would be like the, 
the clamp, the arms that the dumb head sits on. This could be a leg that folds up out of the way. So, like I find that, especially with mechanical moving stuff, it's good to play around with a few little sticks as well as drawing it on paper. So this is how I'm starting to move forward. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, uh, I've got a little bit of a very rough sketch. And now I've also got some material and I made a little model. I didn't join it together, but I just played with those sticks. So now I'm gonna draw it full size just on the top of the table. That's what I've got to draw. So I know the height of a shaving horse for me. I make it about the same height as a chair, which is 45 centimeters. Again, I apologize for my lack of inchiness. So I'm going to mark 45 like this. going to lie my bit of wood on those markings and draw a line. So that should be the top of my shaving horse. Now this is my actual material. It doesn't have to be so wide but seeing as I've got it so wide that's the way I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to leave it this width. Okay, so that's going to be like the, the work table, the, might be a sawhorse, might be a small woodworking table, now you could make it a little higher if you like. Um, a sawhorse is about the height of your knee, so if I want to incorporate this to be a sawhorse as well, I could go up another five centimetres, which to be honest with you, it's not a bad idea, perhaps I should check. It's nice to think this out and talk about it as I go and uh, things become more and more apparent. So if I go up another five centimeters, 50 centimeters for me is a great height for a sawhorse. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick it up five centimeters. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm actually going to go and cut up some material and uh, start to make it. I'm going to need some bolts for pivots or threaded rod or see what I can find. Okay, so I'm just going to write myself down a cutting list. I'm not going to bore you with that, I'll tell you off. my little model again that's going to be like the tabletop and I have a couple of spaces between the two sides so that we can fit in whatever mechanism we want here so uh, it's a bit like a lathe bed actually the whole idea so now I'm just going to cut off a couple of little pieces like that from my uh, scraps that remain from the these two pieces so I've got these blocks cut out going here like this. Here's our legs. I'm going to go something like this and like this. Now if these guys are supposed to pivot, they're also going to need some kind of They're also going to need, anyway, some, some sort of stretcher across you know, here or here, perhaps to make it a bit wider to make it stable, because this is not so very wide. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, 20 centimeters wide, approximately. Yeah, 20. 
Uh, not really wide enough. So we're going to need to put something across here, across here to make it wider and more stable. And now, before I connect these, I should see if I've got bolts or if I've got um, threaded rod. Or see what I've got. Because if it's just bolts, I'm going to have to move this out of the way, perhaps, and bolt it and bolt it like that. If I've got threaded rod, I can go all the way through the whole lot. So I'm going to have a look now and see what I can find. Alrighty, so found a threaded rod with plenty of nuts and washers and stuff. So that was a nice thing to find lying around. Another threaded rod through here, and the same for the other leg. Now first I need to mark all that out accurately. Now, um, I have a drill press, but if you don't have a drill press, watch how I mark it all out and you can do the same. Yeah, guys, this isn't a how-to. Um, you can hang out. See what I'm doing. But I, I'm kind of winging it here at the moment. You can just perhaps learn how to wing it. <laughs> This is like a prototype, a model, um, kind of like trying to figure out what my options are. Nice. And there yeah, should be our dumb head. All right. And all of this mechanism will be able to come out and leave us with just a saw tape. Oh, I love it. I love it. So let's see what angle this is like. I don't know. Yeah, it looks good. I'll go and check what they are on my other saw horses. I really don't remember. Where's my tape measure? Where's my tape measure? Where's my pencil? Where's my tape measure? Where's my pencil? All right then guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next episode, as you can see the shaving horse behind me, it's really taking shape. I hope you're going to enjoy this next video. I've had a lot of fun making this. So um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you don't want to miss the next episode, ring that little uh, bell. And I'll see you in the next one. All the best for now. Bye.